Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem eight in chapter six. In this one, we can see in the space we have several uh, objects, right? Several objects, several planets. And then we need to find the force acting on the Earth by Venus, Jupiter, and Saturn. In this one, first thing we can decide is distance between each other. And the problems give you the distance between sun with each other. So after you draw this picture, you can very easily to find the distance between the Venus, Earth, the distance between Earth, Jupiter, the distance between Earth, Saturn. The next thing, the problem tell you the mass uh, for each planet with the Earth. The gravity is zero. So it looks like now you know the mass, you know the radius. Can you find the force acting each other? Sure, very easily. It is G, M, the M, M1, M2, and uh, divided by R squared, right? This is Renard in this chapter. The next one, we need to find the force acting on Earth. First, the force act on Earth by the Jupiter, pointing to the Jupiter, right? This one. And the, Earth act, uh, the force act on Earth by the Saturn, pointing to the Saturn. The Earth, the Venus, act on the, the force, the Venus act on the Earth, pointing to the Venus. See, we have this vector, this vector, and this vector. So we add these three vectors together, is the total force act on the Earth by the three planets. Agree? So this one, we can get the total force. This is how can we find the force for each other. So this one, G, is a constant. This is the first object, second object, and then the R12 is the distance. See, the mass for each one is given, and the distance is given. So very easily, after we input the numbers inside, you can see M1, M2, R squared, and then we can do that, and then we can get the final answer very easily. The next question asks you what fraction of sun's force on the Earth. So now we need to find the force, the sun to the earth. It's easy, right? You know the mass uh, of the sun and the mass of the earth, and you know the distance between each other. This one is given. So in this one, you can input all, all the known quantities, and you can get it, it is zero. And then use this value divided by the total force, you can find the fraction. Thank you.